Hello friends, welcome back. Till now, as part of limits, we have seen how to find the limits of algebraic functions and trigonometric functions. If the functions are logarithmic or exponential, how to find out the limits of them. So for that, we will use three standard results. We will just go through them briefly and then we will apply the concept and solve simple examples. So first, let me write down all the three standard results. The first one limit x tends to 0 a power x minus 1 divided by x is limit of that is nothing but equal to logarithm of a to base e. Now in the same formula if you substitute a equal to e we will have limit of x tends to 0 e power x minus 1 divided by x equal to 1 why because log of e to e so when you know when the base and the when you know that a and e are equal you will have the value is nothing but equal to 1. So log of e to e is nothing but equal to 1. That is e and e. Okay, right. So these are the two. Now what is the third one? The third one is limit x tends to 0 log of 1 plus x divided by x equal to 1. So let us see how we got this briefly. So for that we have to understand we have to understand how to expand a power x, how to expand e power x and how to expand log of 1 plus x. This is log of 1 plus x divided by x. So how to expand log of 1 plus x. We will look into the expansions of them. I will write them down here one by one. a power x, we will not look into how we derived this or how this came. We will just leverage that. So a power x is nothing but equal to 1 plus x into log of a to the base e plus x square by 2 factorial you know about the factorial so I don't need to mention that but factorial is nothing but starting from the number and going towards 1 subsequently reducing by 1 number so factorial 3 is nothing but 3 into 2 into 1 factorial 2 is 2 into 1 ok right logarithm of e a whole square plus goes on that's about a power x Okay, let's give some space and we will write down e power x also so that we will solve them one after other. Okay, what is e power x? e power x is nothing but equal to 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus goes on continues similarly what is log of 1 plus x that's the third formula we have so let us look at what is expansion of log of 1 plus x log of 1 plus x is nothing but equal to x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 you can see that the x powers are increasing and the signs are switching so the next one will be minus x will become 4 now x to the power of 4 divided by again I will have a 4 there so that is how it looks like so log of 1 plus is x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 minus x to the power of 4 next one will be plus and it will continue 
Now why we are doing this? Let's look at the first one, then you will see very clearly why I am doing that. Now look at the formula, what they are asking us. The formula looks like this. The formula is limit x tends to 0 a power x minus 1 divided by x seems to be very easy because now we know a power x equal to what so I can say a power x minus 1 is nothing but equal to x into I can take x common if you can see as the x power is going on increasing so it will become log of x into log of a to e plus I will have x by 2 factorial then I will have log of a e whole square this may not be needed let me just fix that just one minute so log of a to e and this goes on so what we have done we have taken 1 to the left side and we found that x I can take common in all of them that means x I can take it as a factor now you divide by x what happens a power x minus 1 it is divided by x is equal to log of a to e plus x by 2 factorial log of a to base e whole square plus goes on. Now suppose you apply limit to this function as x tends to 0 you will see that all the remaining functions will become 0. When I say limit and x tends to 0 this all will become cancel. I will have only log of a to e. That is how you got it. Now can you go ahead and try for e power x minus 1 in the similar lines? Yes, it's very easy. What I can do now, I will say e power x minus 1 is equal to e power x minus 1 is equal to I will have x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial or can I take x as a factor and write it as 1 plus x by 2 factorial plus x square by 3 factorial and this goes on. Now what is the meaning of that? The meaning is if I divide by x the first term will be if I divide by x e power x minus 1 divided by x the first term will be 1 the second term will be x by 2 factorial the next term will be x square by 3 factorial and this goes on now you can see when I apply the limit and say x tends to 0 for this function all terms other than the first term will cancel out what is left out is only the first term that's why the limit is nothing but equal to 1 on the same lines you can check for the third result that is nothing but log of 1 plus x now let's divide by x on both the sides left hand side and right hand side you can see that this is nothing but equal to 1 minus x by 2 plus x square by 3 minus x cube by 4 Again the same logic, when you apply the limit as x tends to 0, all the terms will cancel out. Only one left out is independent of x, that is nothing but equal to 1. So that is how, with you, by using the expansions, we can prove very clearly that limit of a power x minus 1 by x as x tends to 0 is log of a to base e. If a becomes e, then log of e to e is 1. So the result will be limit of x tends to 0, e power x minus 1 by x is 1. And the third one is limit of x tends to 0, log of 1 plus x by x is nothing but equal to 1 because 
I know the expansion of log of 1 plus x if I divide by x on both the sides I see that the first term is independent of x now you can observe here the term which is independent of x is your solution the remaining all whichever is dependent on x they will become 0 as x tends to 0 now let's go ahead and apply these three standard results and try to do some simple examples we'll continue this in the next session also but we'll have one example for each result in this particular we'll solve three simple examples the first one based on the first standard result so what is the formula we know here limit x tends to 0 a power x so x is nothing but 3x minus 1 divided by x now according to the formula if I have x I should have x in the denominator also so what I will do I will change it as I will say limit x tends to 0 this is nothing but equal to a power 3x minus 1 divided by you will agree with me because then this will become 1 so now this is nothing but equal to if you apply limit on this according to the formula this is nothing but equal to 1 because limit of x tends to 0 a power x minus 1 divided by x is nothing but oh not 1 it is nothing but equal to log a so it will become 3 into log of a I'll repeat that again the formula what we have gone through is limit of x tends to 0 a power x minus 1 by x is equal to log of a to base e now here I see a power 3x minus 1 divided by x so if I have whatever the power I have same thing I should have so I just kept it here to balance it out I have multiplied again with 3 now you can see that this whole thing is nothing but equal to log of a to base e and we are multiplying with 3 so the answer will be 3 into log of a base e so we are using that result there now let's go to the next one here limit x tends to 0 e power sin x minus 1 divided by x the formula says limit x tends to 0 e power x minus 1 by x is equal to 1 so I should have if I am having e power sin x minus 1 I should also have sin x here so we already have 1 by x so if I am dividing by sin x I should also multiply by sin x so this whole thing is limit x tends to 0 you are multiplying this two. this is nothing but equal to we can apply individual limits now we can say limit of x tends to 0 e power sin x minus 1 by sin x into limit of x tends to 0 sin x by x we know that both of them are equal to 1 so 1 into 1 is nothing but equal to 1 so we have first we have used a power x minus 1 by x is nothing but log of a formula now we have used e power x minus 1 by x x tends to 0 is also equal to 1 only the thing is we have in the denominator not sin x but we have x so we have kept sin x so that we can complete this formula but if I am dividing I should again multiply and for me x is already there which will help me to become 1 there so that way I can solve it now let's look at the third problem okay so we have limit of root of 1 plus x minus 1 divided by log of 1 plus x now you can see here first thing we see is we need a bit of rationalization here because if x is 0 1 minus 1 is 0 we are in the 0 form and the 0 by 0 form so 
here I see a logarithmic function formula here I see rationalization so we will apply both of that and we will say limit x tends to 0 first I will write down I will rationalize it so I will say root of 1 plus x minus 1 into root of 1 plus x plus 1 divided by divided by log of 1 plus x into root of 1 plus x plus 1 as x tends to 0. This is nothing but equal to. Now when I multiply this, this is in the form of a minus b into a plus b. So this is in the form of a minus b into a plus b. That is nothing but equal to a square minus b square. So I can write it as root of 1 plus x root of 1 plus x whole square is equal to 1 plus x. So I can write it as 1 plus x minus 1 divided by log of 1 plus x multiplied by square root of 1 plus x plus 1 limit of this as x tends to 0. Now if you simplify this further we will have now you can see that 1 1 cancels I have nothing but here limit of now I will separate them I will say this is nothing but equal to 1 by log of 1 plus x by x which we know is nothing but equal to 1 and that I have to multiply with q2 space I will write it here that is nothing but 1 by root of 1 plus x plus 1 and you know we know that this whole thing is equal to 1 and we have a limit again here x tends to 0 that will make it 1 by 1 plus 1 that is nothing but equal to 1 by 2 so your answer for the third one third one will be 1 by 2 so that's how in the next session what we will do we will solve some more examples as part of evaluating exponential and logarithmic limits of exponential and logarithmic function. So we have seen three formulas to summarize. One is log of one is log of 1 plus x divided by x limit of that as x tends to 0 is 1. Another one is limit of a power x minus 1 by x as x tends to 0 is log of a base e. And the other one is limit of x tends to 0 a power e power x minus 1 by x is nothing but equal to 1. If you just substitute in this formula a equal to e, you will get this result. When a becomes e, log of e to e is nothing but equal to 1. So these are the three formulas leveraging that we can solve so many examples. Now, when you go to next level examples, you will see that these formulas are clubbed with either algebraic functions or trigonometric functions. So we have combination of exponential and trigonometric, logarithmic and trigonometric, logarithmic or algebra, so algebraic. So we can have different combinations. So I will catch you in the next session where we will do some more examples. Thanks for your time. Bye for now.